In a world searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back, guys and gals. Critical here. Today I'm bringing you another episode of Subsistence on Season 5. Well, I spent the night fishing and got a decent haul. Two salmon, four smaller fish, and one bass. Bass. I don't know why I put a T at the end of it, but it is what it is. Perfect. Let's go ahead and put the fish away. I'll cook it up later. I'm not hungry enough to eat that chicken dinner. That will be soon, though. Let's grab that. Grab a full stack. All that. Not bad. Let's get this a crafting. That away, that away. I look like I need some more cloths here soon as well. I did not clean out my scavenge hunt from yesterday, so that'll have to happen as well. Grab the stuff that I can use. There we go. We need a, an organized button still. I've always said we needed one. We still need an organized button. Please. That's the one thing this game doesn't have that, you know, most games like this typically seem to have is a, uh, an organize, or, you know, your contents of your, your box, but up there, up that there. Let's go ahead and start making some first aid kits. And that's what I'm turning all this into is just first aid kits. I already have um, at least one antidote. I'm not going to worry about not having another one. Um, three. Dual bricks are getting kind of low. I can always make more. It's just... And that's my last match, too. All those matches that I found, and now I don't have any. Oh, whatever will I do? Come on. Oh, yeah, swap that water down. Of course, I was sitting at the at the pond all day fishing, or all night fishing, and I never thought to uh, fill my canteen. Hmm. It's like I do that a lot. Ooh, actually, with the supplies that I do have, I should... Keep crafting these up. All right. Next time I get to uh, enough power, I need to do a mass storage as well. Keep forgetting to uh, make those. Works when I was sitting right here, and then the the thought hit my head. I'm like, oh, that's right. And for now, I'll just drop that. Actually, split that. What's my power at? Not max yet. Okay. And no, I haven't done any repairs or anything. I think tonight I'll have to get wood all night. Spend the night getting wood. And that should leave me the time necessary to uh, repair my stuff as well. Am I hungry enough yet? Nope. All right, let's go grab a chicken, and I want to get a moose today. I want a chicken, and I want a moose. Um, split it half. Okay. One water. Perfect. So, chicken and a moose is my plan for the day. A live chicken and a dead moose. Not the other way around. I'm not bringing home a live moose. No, not you, bear. You're just a waste of resources. Wolf! To the side. He was sitting there in the hollow of the, of the, uh, in the shadow of that cliff, and I could not see him. 
Come on. You want to let go at some point. Checking for moose first. Oh, come on, wolf. Drop off. Thank you. Alright. General sweep just for moose in the area. I want to do like a little figure eight around my base. Because my base is a little... Oh, hello. Let's corner the chicken toward the fence. Come on. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. You can stop now. Uh, the fence might help and might cause more of a problem. When he bounces off the fence, I don't know which way he's going to go. There we go. Thank you very much. All right. Run the chicken by the house real quick. And that'll complete that figure eight. So I want to hit this valley to see if there's any moose. Go back to the base. Drop the chicken and the chicken coop. And then swing around the pond. That'll give me a wide swath of looking for any moose in the immediate area. I'm expecting at least one revenge attack, if not two revenge attacks today. Probably two. No, not food and water there. Give me eggs, manure, and grow quickly so I can cook you and eat you. Drop off that one fiber and swap that out. Perfect. Okay, now I need to be hungry enough, right? There we go. And I'll take that pork pork loin with me. And this is the second sweep. I got a deer. I don't know if deer and moose can spawn, you know, or like be in the same areas. Or if they kind of like repel each other. But typically when I see deer in the area, I'm not going to see a moose. And most times vice versa too. We'll get on top of the rock and see if we can see a moose. I don't want to go after a cougar. Because it's the moose is what I want. Because I want the... Uh, the rack of meat so I can make a better meal. Cougar for sinew, but I'm looking at the good meals. I only need a few more and I'll have my stamina maxed. Then it won't matter as much what I'm eating. I won't be as like, I want a moose, I want a moose, I need to raise my stats. I can raise my stats on the, the lower meals as well, but once I have them maxed, I'll Put a couple of the good meat, you know, when I get a chicken that grows or I get my hands on a moose. Oh, thank you. Oh, God. It's a splint. The game is like, you're going to break your leg. I'm going to give you one now so you can't yell about it. I'll still yell about it, but I think that's what the game's doing. But yeah, once I'm completely uh, uh, full on health and stamina, health is maxed. I know it says 124 of 125. It's a floating decimal point in the background that you can't see it's actually my health is 125 but it's like 124.9997 or something like that so it's that floating decimal point which is causing it to say 124 my stamina though I need to go up 4 more points so I need some moose moose and or chickens chickens take too long that's why I'm put hunting moose today though if there were wild level 10 chickens every once in a while that'd be nice too right, anything over here 
nothing that I'm seeing, which really sucks. Now, I might miss a moose. There was a, a comment on one of my posts. Ah, did you look to the left and see the moose? And, well, not to be snarky, but obviously not since I, uh, you didn't see me look to the left and go, oh, look, a moose. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I missed the moose. It's possible. I'm sweeping my eyes across the screen all the time looking for threats, looking for benefits like there's a piece of fiber down there. So I'm always scanning the map, but that doesn't mean that I'm always going to see everything. That's a bear. Yeah? Yeah, that's a bear. And that was a wolf that growled at me, but I don't care. He's far enough away. I mean, I'm happy to get all the bags, but I really want a moose today. Now, I could make multiple chicken coops, and I'll probably do that at the new base. I'll have to figure out where to place them because the layout that I have set for the base is one of attack the top, don't attack anywhere else. So I've got to figure out how I'm going to make that work. Okay, you're over there. I'm going to move this way. There's another uh, area up there which I can get a commanding view of. Hello. Don't pass up the fiber. I need it too much. Two bags I, I spy. Bear. Wolf. I mean, I do a boar, but a boar is just for a variety, you know. Pork chop versus a steak. But the moose makes the better meal. I mean, I could make the fish. And it's an okay meal. Nothing wrong with it, it's just... Fish pie. Ugh. Sorry. It's just a, I mean, I've eaten it in the... It's like in Seven Days to Die when I, when I get happy about having the recipe for fish tacos because fish tacos are easy to make. The idea of a fish taco turns my stomach, but in the game, it's a pretty easy food to make and rather filling. Same thing with here with, with the uh, the fish pie. It is, it, it's okay to make. Uh, I don't have to taste it because it's just a video game, but the still the thought of a fish pie. Ugh. Ugh. No. There's only certain things you should do with a fish, and one of, and one of them for sure is not to make it into a pie. Oh man, bandages, thank you. I mean, I, kept, I, was, I was thinking I needed to go after a lot of rabbits so I can make some more bandages. And the game was like, oh, you don't, don't, don't worry about the rabbits. Leave the rabbits alone. I'll give you bandages. And I'm like, well, that's awesome. You just saved six rabbits their lives. Maybe I'll switch weapons. I'll see a moose. Carrying the rifle was a, was a bad omen. All the moose were like, oh, he's got the rifle out. We can't be seen. Uh, let's switch to my rabbit bow. Just because they gave me bandages doesn't mean I'm going to go not go after the rabbit for their cloth. Survey says nails. Okay. All right. Down that way. So I'm trying to scan large swaths of area and find my moose. 
because there's a moose with with my name on it out there. I just have to find said moose. But the longer this takes, the more it's starting to feel like this is going to be a uh, a failed moose hunt day. And those days suck, but they do happen. There's nothing you can do about it. You're you're gonna have bad hunting days. I've never gone hunting in the real world, but I hear that, you know, you don't always come home with a 10 point buck. Chicken or, uh, you're a chicken. Yeah, you're a chicken. I was hoping that health bar belonged to a rabbit. I know a rabbit's 30. I wasn't looking at the number. I just saw the health bar. Like, Ooh. And then I concentrated. Oh, 25. Yep. That's a rabbit. Uh, ch chicken. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. All right. Getting close to the fortress. I'm going to go around this way to be on the safe. <gasps> and there's my moose, people. Right by the fortress, huh? Come on, put your head out. Coming back this way, huh? I hit it and it's running. Did it just run into the fortress? Alright. That wasn't a... I was hoping I would do enough damage to... Make it want to come charging at me to get it away from the fortress. But it, it almost looked like it ran right up to the fortress. Fortunately, the hunters aren't attacking it. Oh, there it is. There we go. That's what I wanted. Come here, Moosey Moosey. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, yes, it ran out its stamina. Thank God. Give it another crack in the face. Awesome! That was a long range moose pull. That was great. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands just to be on the safe side. Okay, so I got my moose for the day. That was my one goal for the day. Hmm. I guess I should look at my supplies and see if I have enough. The problem is I would need several Molotovs, several grenade tip, or not grenade tip arrows, uh, several grenades, or like a mountain of picks to get through all the doors that block loot in there. That's the bad part of, of going in there. It's not just the fact that you need a breaching charge to get through the first door, is that you have all these other doors to get through too. Um, I think if I had a choice, I would start with, I would probably do Molotov cocktails. So I would need a breaching charge to get through the, the outer door. Hello. And six or so, six or so uh, Molotov cocktails to get to the, the rest of the doors that I need to uh, get through. Man, my house needs some maintenance. My plants are crying out for maintenance. Go ahead and cook this because I'm almost hungry enough to eat it right away, which I'm actually done with that. That's perfectly fine. Put that away. I don't want to waste the. Do not want to waste the hunger on that. Let's go ahead and dump everything into here. Oops. 
tomatoes. Thank you. Eventually, I'm I'm hoping that rotted rotten meat will become more useful. That's why I maintain it, just letting stuff rot out. Put one and drop it there. Cool. Um. Leave four of them for the human. Which one? Potatoes, right? Talking up the potatoes so much. This one has the cotton seed in it. Yep. I always do a water run too. Got more than enough time in the day. I think I'll leave two clean and maybe I can do a dirty water run real quick. Are you? Nope, not even close to being done yet. Let me run over and get dirty water. This is the good thing about my new base. I don't have to leave the base to get water because my planters are going to be literally on top of the water. Now, um, wow, there's a lot around here. Um, you still have to water the plant. The, the, the planters don't just, you know, get water by osmosis or anything like that. Uh, you know, they don't put their roots into the, into the lake to suck up and drink water. You still have to go and fill the water canteens. Okay, all right. Chimney Christmas, how much stuff is... I'm not even looking behind me because I'm not taking the hit, but wow. I'll grab a chicken on the wing, why not? All right, get on my base. Everybody goes. And let's go home. That was a uh, a very chancy run to make with my stamina going down and down and my resources. I think I bumped into the uh, bear and uh, wolf uh, card game and they weren't happy about it. And eat right away, nice. 123 of 125. We are getting close. And if I get that, it'll be the first time I've ever maxed both. That one's topped off. At least get all the waters topped off. Okay, cool. I'm, like I said, I'm not always concerned about fertilizer. I try to fertilize the uh, planters that I'm like concentrating on saying, oh, I need this or I need that. So I will concentrate on those. Usually tomatoes, cotton, right now. You know, when I, when I leave this base and I'm at the other base, I might make all these planters just potatoes. Maybe one planter of tomatoes, but the rest are just gonna be potatoes. That way I can run over here when I need uh, potatoes for making Molotov cocktails and harvest the entire place for nothing but uh, Molotov cocktail production. That sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. I mean, I could put extra planters around my base and not come back over here, but having that remote base where you just kind of plant it and forget it, you know, the next time you happen to be on this side, you're like, oh, and you come back with a couple hundred tomatoes. And I can plan out a schedule to, uh, so that I, I'm not wasting it, but it's not a bad idea. 
All right, got a chicken in my pocket. I'll just kill you for the resources. I just grabbed you because I saw you and you were running right in front of me. I was like, why not? Sweet. Organization. A couple of those need to get fixed. I don't think they... Hold on. I don't think they all do that. I think you're gonna blast me like that. I don't think they all need to get fixed. I think the bottom one does. Which is just one guy. Nope, and he has his grenade tipped arrows out, so I am definitely gonna straight right here. Okay, now I feel a little bit better he's not doing grenade tipped arrows. Because the hunters, I've never seen a hunter use grenade tipped arrows on a player if they weren't already targeting your base. So they're, they're, oh, okay. Shot him in the back. You know, the tree's not going to save you from, from the shotgun, right? Oh, got all my shotgun shells back on one guy. Thank you. Okay, some fish oil. You're, 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 you're making penance. You're like, hey, you know, don't kill me. I have fish oil. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm going to kill you and take the fish oil. And one last guy. He's trying to shoot and kill my chicken. And he had a fish oil. And what does that fish give me? It gives me fish oil. Thank you. Though I'd rather you didn't attack, but that's okay. Yeah, see, they came up. I wasn't, I hadn't even repaired yet. And they were already attacking again. All right, so you want, I'm not wasting those resources. No. I've got plans for that metal. This, I probably should have, well, no. I know I should have just uh, replaced it. I shouldn't have repaired it because how much damage I already had on it. Same with this one, but I'm just going to do it real quick. And just so that I don't fall, it's been a couple times now I've seen the uh, the whites of my eyes so I could bulge out because I, I go to step on it. I'm going to put another uh, piece out here where I, it was my little landing pad area. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Thank you. Let me reload real quick. Swap out. And put you away. Put you away. Put you there. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you can't shift quick stuff in there. Though, hey, I'd rather have the mass. I've got so many nails, it's not even a, an issue right now. To be honest. Yep. And put that back. Okay. These are a little damaged, but not enough that I'm going to worry about it. I'm not going to be fighting from up here anymore because it seems to cause me more issues than it is helpful. Aha. I've got the power. I have the power. And no, I'm not going to yell it from the top of Grayskull. But, you know, the thought was there. And, oh, strike it forward. You know what? I make a power, I make a mass storage. Um, what can I sacrifice? Oh, you know what? That'll do it. Almost. And that'll be more than enough. Oh, but I'm out. Oh, I definitely need to spend a night getting uh, wood. Oh, yeah. I'm down to 11 logs and no planks. No, there's more wood back at the other base. But I, I feel like going over there with anything less than 100 planks 
is basically a waste of my time because I can't I can't do as much uh, building as I would want okay cool and to be on the safe side split ye in half 32 is the magic numbers it's what's down at 16 which you all know is my favorite number for refilling you into a dump chest. Okay, I'm going to turn you into a dump chest now. Because I am going to go out and start harvesting wood right now. Um, let's keep this lit. And swap these out so that I'm at least utilizing the fire to get stuff done that needs to get done. All right, guys and gals, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. I've been Critical. This has been Subsistence on Season 5. I hope you guys have enjoyed this content. If you have, drop a like, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.